morning everyone so it is 9 30 i was up at six this morning um got a shower doing my makeup and getting dressed and ready i'm headed to do dandy's makeup i would like to be there early um they said 10 45 i'm probably gonna be there at like 10 15 ish just because I feel like that'll give me time to like get in there and get set up, but get organized, relax, calm my nerves, get set up and all that good stuff. Hopefully I'll be able to um, take a few snaps or take a few video clips or someone else can do it of me doing her makeup. And um, yeah, you guys get to see me meet her today. So I'm pretty excited. I think this will be fun. And then tonight... Um, there's supposed to be another event, so I might be doing her makeup twice. So, if I do, that will be even more fun, because I think the second event is I get a little bit more time, and we could just kind of chill and, you know, do something fun, I think. Yeah, I won't say too much, because I don't know what we're doing yet, but yeah. So, headed to do that. I got my um, protein shake, and I'm ready to rock and roll. Hey guys, I'm here. You, have you guessed what I'm doing yet? Well, I'm just going to tell you. I'm doing makeup. I am, um backstage waiting I did one face already but I'm waiting on um, the other face I'm all set up back here it's, it's, I have so much stuff um, because I don't know what look she wants so um, I pretty much brought everything but anywho I'm gonna go out and about and see what's going on I think she should be here in a minute but I don't want to tell you guys who it is until she gets here I want you to be surprised She look pretty and natural and glowy. She doesn't wear a lot of makeup. She's got like perfect skin, so that's probably why. Look how pretty she looks. You got it on a timer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you so much for letting me do your makeup today. She's so pretty. And good luck. Thank you. I got one on all three, four, and four. Okay. Now I'm on okay. the Oh, it is. It's Tori. Vlogging? Yep. I had Annie on the video earlier. Oh, um, Trina said I should be a blogger. She was like, Tori, um, Tori, show me your page and you should be a blogger. I was like, I'm working on it, but it's hard. I know, I know, I know, and I'm working on it too. I gotta carry this camera everywhere. I know, I said a lot of work. So, Tori, I've been doing her makeup for a while. She's the one who got me the opportunity. It's just that there's not a spectacle on your life. There's not a camera on yours. Exactly. So people are so quick to judge, but if that same camera was pointed at you and your family and your lives, we're dealing with a lot of the same things. Mm -hmm. You know, and people say, oh, I would never. How could she? Oh my gosh. The difference is there's not a camera in your life. There's a camera in mine. And then there's also that component of they cast people that are casted to entertain. So we get the extreme cases of a lot of people um, because they want you guys to keep tuning in. And as consumers of this, you guys have the right to turn the channel. You know, I always tell people, they'll, they'll say things like, um, you know, it's polluting the TV, it's polluting the community. And, and to some extent, it may, may very well be, but you guys have got to be strong enough to say, you know what, for me, there's certain things I cannot watch. Like, I, can, I know how I feel right now about, you know, the injustices in this community. I know how I feel about sometimes policing harshly. I cannot watch movies that show super unjust movements. I cannot watch things with um, prejudice and black people uh, being treated wrongly. I know that for my spirit and for me to walk out and be who I am and not have hatred in my, I can't watch certain things. You have to be strong enough in your house with your children and even with you as a grown woman to say, I'm not strong enough to watch this because this is gonna make me act a certain way in my relationship. This is gonna make me act a certain way when I walk out those doors. This is gonna make me lose my religion. You have to be strong enough to say what's good for your spirit and what's not good for your spirit. But all that to say, I do feel like I have a personal responsibility to my community. And sometimes I get mad with some of the things people do and that they say, especially on my show. But I understand that there's a little 17 year old girl that's watching me that might be a fan and saying, well, Yandy did it so I can. Mm -hmm. So I prefer to show me being a businesswoman. Right. I prefer me to show me diffusing the issues right. just because there's that little 17 year old girl that comes up to me and say, I'm such a huge fan of you. And I want her to be a fan of something worthy. Exactly. You know, I feel like when you die, who you are shouldn't die with you. Your legacy right. should leave on. And you guys got to think about what legacy do you want to leave on when you pass away? And that's how I think when I'm out there. When, I, when my last day on Love & Hip Hop airs, this is Yandy's final season. Yay! What, what is going to be said about me? Who, was I the fighter? Was I the one that was out here cheating on my husband? Was I the one that was, you know, nasty with her mouth? That's not the legacy I'm trying to leave behind. Right. You know? And each of you, when you walk into your offices, when you walk into these places of business, when you walk into your home, if today was your last day, if there was an expiration date on your pretty little packaged body, it said expires 3-17-2018 at 11.59 p.m., how would you live today? What would you do differently today than you did yesterday? If you knew your expiration date was tonight at 11.59 p.m., and that's sometimes how you have to live to be great or to be different instead of part. 
Um, it's, a, it's a struggle. It's something that I battle with all the time because I want to be relatable. I want to be real. But I know that God is watching, you know, and I don't want to be so different that people just feel like I think I'm above them or I'm not relatable. So it's a balance. And every day I'm every day I'm struggling to be more spiritual. I'm struggling to be more faithful. I'm struggling to build in my relationship with God. Um, I read a lot of books. I'm reading a book right now. It's called The Power of the Holy Spirit. And um, it helps me stay balanced. You know, I, I'm, we live in a secular world. And this is kind of the norm is to be unsecular, ratchet, whatever it is. The norm is to curse. The norm is to, you know, have multiple men you deal with. The norm, that is the norm in our society right now. Um, but I feel like I've been given an opportunity to redefine the norm. And um, it's a huge responsibility. And sometimes I feel really pressured and sometimes I feel like um, I have to do what's right all the time. And it's hard to have that pressure on your back. It's really hard. Um, but every day I'm just trying to be a better me. You know, I'm, I feel like I'm good, but I feel like tomorrow with growth, with work, with molding, with going through stuff, because um, Lord knows I hate the pain of growing through stuff, but I feel like it's molded me and it's, and it's helping me because I've been going through a lot of stuff, but it's, it's helping mold me into who I'm supposed to be so that I can be great. I'm good today, but tomorrow I'm going to be great. Turn to your sister and say, I'm good today, but tomorrow I'm going to be great. So embrace that struggle, embrace the judgment, embrace it all because it's shaping you and it's molding you. I read something that said, I hope I get this right. It said, the most coarse paths lead to the promised land and the highest, roughest mountains lead to the best views. So we have to go through it, right? We gotta go through those rough patches. We gotta keep climbing that mountain. We can't stop because once you get to the top of that mountain, and you don't want to climb that mountain alone. You want to take your sisters with you, your family with you. You want to be at that top of that mountain, and you want to look over and see that view and understand all of its amazingness. Um, that's it. I hope I answered your question. <laughs> okay, I'm all done, or almost, almost done. Okay, so I we did makeup, and then we did the empowerment brunch, and now. Um, Thank you.